explaining it to me. I might not like it, but I still appreciate you. You don't need the card to buy 99% of the stuff in the app at this price. The so no, so my question to you is... The card gives you extra rewards. But only on the 1%. No, there's no percent. Or let me, let me, I, I have a specific question for you. Yeah. My question is, these Johnsonville brats are on sale for $3.99. Yeah. So let's say um, right over here, instead of this being a flower, okay, we can both see, we can both see that this is uh, some little beautiful little pink flowers. I bought quite a few of these. Let's say this was the Johnsonville brat. And let's say this is the only thing I need. Okay, I got some Johnsonville brats, put them in the cart. If I go up there with a $10 bill, are they going to charge me $3.99 for the Johnsonville brat? Or do I have to download something or get no, a no, card? Just, but that's what you get charged. So it's an automatic. For, but let me explain to you. There's the there are, there are reward systems called my perks. So there are occasionally things in here. Only the one percent you're talking about now, right? No, there's no one. You said for ninety nine percent you get it here, but for the one percent you no. need the card. You yes. just said it. Yes, you're right. For some of them you will need. But for ninety nine percent I don't need it, right? No, you don't. So. But the extra rewards that you earn through them. Are like, you yeah, have you spend, to do the like, card. Example, and they can issue me a card yeah. at the no. customer. How do you get? You oh, it's through the app. app. And if you what get, is the extra reward? So, first of all, I mean, download, what do you get? Like a one percent at the end of the let year? Let me finish. First of all, if you download the app, you get ten dollars off your first order at thirty, and then you don't have to do anything for that but download the app and create the account. Yeah, that's, like then, 30, that's like thirty-three well, percent. Yeah, okay. but for, for Joe Public, ten dollars is a lot of money. Well, yeah, I mean, that's $10. So, I mean, that's a pretty good savings, 33%. Right, in then, other words, I don't like to clip a coupon that's giving no, me a nickel off on a box of no, corn. Can, but 33%, I mean, but 10, can, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Good morning, would you like the app? Uh, okay, Isn't it true, 10 bucks is 10 bucks? 10 bucks is 10 bucks. I mean, so of course that's 10 bucks. my point is that it's, it's a better system than some of the, the others. The card where it sells right. you, tells you, hey, You've it's convinced it's, me to download it, I don't know. Well, you don't have to, it's but, just... But, but I mean... Uh, so that's the big. So thing. right off the bat, you get the you get the ten bucks off. If you download, if you spend through, the yeah. account first. Yeah. Now, well, is this an employee coming? Do we have to say hi to her? No, no. She well, she is an Customer. employee. Oh, we're not allowed to say she's, good she's morning. In charge. Even she's though she's an employee, we can yeah, still say good a, morning. She's right? Oh, she's a general man. Oh, she's a pharmacist. Yeah, she's yeah. in charge. Oh. Of the pharmacist. Pharmacists know a lot about ibuprofen. Correct me if I'm wrong. Advil and Motrin. I don't know if you know this. What's it? I'm gonna test them. What's the difference between... Good morning, ma'am. Did you need a... Uh, she's on the ad now. Oh, she's an employee too. I, don't tell them the answer. What is your name? Because your name tag's turned around. Oh, I'm your name tag's turned around. Okay, yeah. Don't feel bad. They often turn around. At the water damage conventions, the answer would be to have two things coming down and then it won't fly. But it, 50% of the time they turn around, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Deanna should not feel bad. Deanna L. Kenneth D. Listen, what is the difference? Don't tell them between Motrin and Advil. You've heard of both. Sounds well, what's, oh, the difference? Yeah, what's the difference between Motrin and Advil? Two different names. Well, but what's the difference? <laughs> Chemically, or like, in other words, what is one for, what is the other one for? One's ibuprofen, the other one's acetaminophen. That is not correct. They are both identical in every way, shape, <laughs> form, and regard. Not just the active ingredient, but, however, they are... Your first answer was correct. When you said it's two different names, because correct me if I'm wrong, Deanna, Motrin is marketed to the demographic of women with menstrual cramps, where Advil is marketed to all people who have headaches. Other than that, they are identical. It's, they are, are they identical? Oh, yeah, yeah. They are identical. So when you said one is ibuprofen and one is acetaminophen, no. Just so you know, Kenneth, when you said one is ibuprofen and one is acetaminophen, that is totally incorrect. Am I right? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure I've got it straight. What he said, when he said one of them is ibuprofen and one of them is acetaminophen, that is completely incorrect. Is that, am I, they're both ibuprofen, yeah. They're both ibuprofen? Mm -hmm. So are you telling me then, then if I have three things in my cart, I want to make sure, I want to make sure we got this straight. Are you telling me if I have ibuprofen here? Mm -hmm. Here. Are you telling me if this is ibuprofen and this is Advil, and this is Motrin, although those are three completely separate names marketed to different demographics and whatnot, they are all exactly, and I mean exactly, the same exact thing. Kenneth, 
chemically, yeah. I mean, so they have obviously different, you know, imprints and, you know. I don't care about the color or the dye yeah. or the, you know, but the one might be a pink pill, the one might be a purple pill, purple or orange, yeah. you know. I don't care about that. I'm saying that if they were all so many milligrams, the same milligram, what's a common milligram? It's always over the counter, they're all 200. Okay, so they're all 200 milligrams. So you're saying, regardless of whether somebody had menstrual cramps if they're a woman or a headache, you could take any one of the three of these and there would be absolutely no difference in the result. Yep. If you had a headache, possibly your headache would go away. But it wouldn't matter if you grabbed an Advil or an ibuprofen or a uh, Motrin because they're all 200 milligrams. Did you know that? That all three of those are exactly the same thing. It'd be like if I took a can of Coca-Cola. Uh, hey, nice to see you again. Didn't I just meet you about five minutes ago? You're already done shopping? You just get I said, didn't I just meet you when I mentioned Sunday? You just one thing? Buy some more stuff. You got all the good stuff over here. So anyway, so so if I'm understanding this correctly, it would be as if I took a two liter bottle of Coca-Cola and if I poured 12 ounces into this glass and I called that Joe's Cola and if I continued pouring 12 ounces into this glass and I called that Poblonski and if I continued pouring another 12 ounces into a third glass and I called that shot, all three of those would be exactly, the, there might be, this one's yellow, this one's pink, doesn't matter. They're, both, they're all exactly the same. Yep. There's no difference between, even though they have three completely, totally separate names. One's called Motrin, one's called Advil, and one is the generic term, which is called Ibuprofen. Did you know that? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. Did you know that what I just said? I always look at the box. No, I, obviously he did not because you heard him say that one, when I said, what's the difference between Motrin and uh, uh, Advil, he thought, Ken was incorrect when he mistakenly thought that one was ibuprofen and one was acetaminophen because they're both ibuprofen. I mean, ibuprofen being the generic term. That's why I have pharmacy. That's why we have pharmacy. That's what I'm here. That's, that is the purpose, that is why God gave us Deanna, to explain this. But how did I do? Did I explain it right? Not bad? Uh, for not being a, hey, for not being a pharmacist, huh? She's got the gold star from, yeah. Oh no, we're okay, we're having a nice conversation. Uh, Ken was thanking me because he learned a lot from me when I was talking to the pharmacist. So, uh, Ken, you're welcome. You, you're welcome. Excuse me? When I said Ken was thanking me, and I said, you're welcome. You didn't actually say thank you for teaching me that, but that's okay. You don't have to thank me. But I did teach you something, obviously. Okay. Did I not? Yes, sir. I mean, yes. you're not going to say, hey, thank you. You're welcome. Right. Have a good day. God. Yeah, I will. Uh, God bless. God bless.